Hi, my name is Krista, an animal keeper at the Live Animal Care Center inside the Museum of Science. We have so many animals to take care of in the center and across the museum in our different exhibits, and some of them require special attention. So just like your dog or cat at home, our animals get a regular visit from a veterinarian too. My name is Greg Mertz, I'm a veterinarian at the museum. I've been uh, doing veterinary care of the Live Animal Center's animals for 18 or 19 years now. We're from the New England Wildlife Center. Today we come in every two weeks and we look at the health of anybody that they have a concern about. The intervening weeks they often uh, will bring an animal to us for a particular set of questions or procedures. But uh, we have a great working relationship with the Museum of Science and the Live Animal Center and uh, we love working here. First, we're going to take a look at Poe, our barn owl. Dr. Mertz is going to examine Poe today because she hasn't been acting herself lately. For a little while now, she has shown a big loss of appetite. While this can be typical of barn owls during mating season, we want to check and make sure there isn't another reason to explain her behavior. First, we'll put this towel over her head to restrict her vision. While it might look scary for the animal, removing visual stimuli can actually help keep her calm while we examine her. You'll notice Dr. Mertz is gently squeezing Poe's chest. What he's looking to determine is her body condition score. A body condition score is a score given to an animal on a scale of one to five in order to determine the percentage of body fat that animal has. A score of one means that the animal is very skinny, while a score of five means the animal is obese. A score of three is considered just right. Fortunately, after examining Poe, Dr. Mertz has determined she has a body condition score of three out of five. Perfect. With her score right where we want to see it, we are just going to check her feet for any problems that might prevent her from perching properly. Make sure her wings look good, and finally, weigh her. Poe is very healthy, and we're happy to say, shortly after this visit, she began eating normally again. Now owls are divided into two families. Barn owls like Poe are one family. We're going to check up on a member of a second family of owls, known as true owls. Meet Cree. Cree is a screech owl who Dr. Mertz wants to visit to give a beak trim. In the wild, a screech owl's beak will normally be kept short from the natural process of hunting and eating. But under human care, we have to manage it for them. If we don't, Cree could have difficulty eating. Trimming her beak doesn't hurt her at all. It's just like cutting your fingernails. For being such a good girl during her visit, Cree gets a nice juicy treat. And now, we're going to take a look at one of our two Katinga toads. While one of our toads has been acting normally, our little green friend here has been acting more like a slug than a toad. Just like Poe, Dr. Mertz is going to give its chest a little squeeze to determine its body condition score. We're also going to examine for other signs of immobility, such as skin conditions that may develop from sitting in one place for too long. Since Katinga toads are nocturnal, Observation during the day may not be reliable if the toad is active at night. You can see some redness on the bottom of its back legs. While not harmful just yet, we'll need to get it eating properly again and back on the road to recovery. Fortunately, with some assisted hand feeding, both of our Katinga toads are now acting like their normal selves. Now, not all of the animals living in the Live Animal Care Center will live out their entire lives here. The LACC is an AZA accredited zoo which stands for the Association of Zoos and Aquariums. This means we have relationships with institutions all over the country. Animals will sometimes transfer to another organization for breeding recommendations, companionship, or for program and exhibit purposes. This corn snake is being prepped for a trip to one of these other institutions. Prior to leaving, animals receive general health checks while also examining for any potential diseases. The animal will also go through a quarantine period at its new home. While it may look like a day at the spa for the snake, Dr. Mertz has to make sure to swab very specific areas of the snake a certain number of times to make sure that if it does carry any diseases, we are able to detect them. However, that doesn't mean that our slithery friend can't enjoy themselves during the procedure. I hope you enjoyed our behind the scenes look into what a visit from a veterinarian at the museum looks like. I bet it's just a little bit different than the vet that you may bring your pets to for a checkup. We got a look at just a few of the many animals that our vet cares for during a typical visit. 
And remember, you can visit the live animal care center at the museum in the lower level of the Red Wing. View animals such as frogs, snakes, and even tamarind monkeys on our exhibit floor, or catch one of our live animal shows in Connors Theater.